How's that look in there? Is it good? Yeah, we're rolling. We are? You sure? Let's get it. Ooh, yeah. Hey, guys. Braden Matthews. V-Force. EDC. We're talking hydration. We talked about that we're going to do a series of videos on each category of the everyday carry. Check out one of our first videos, which is on the sort of broad subject matter of what everyday carry is. And now what we're going to do is we're breaking down each category. So the first and foremost, in our opinion, is going to be hydration. Hydration without it, we're dead. So I want to start broad on this. We're going to do two videos in, on hydration. So this first one is going to be, again, the broad. And then on the second, we're going to get real narrow. So let's just talk about some facts about hydration right now. Some things that actually I didn't even know, believe it or not. Um, so in terms of hydration, we like to do the who, what, where, when, and why. So the who is for all of us, me, you, everybody. The what, obviously, it's hydration. The when, always. We should be hydrated always. Uh, the where, anywhere you are, everywhere, you know, again, these are kind of all dovetailed together. The why, again, worst case scenario, you're going to die. Typically, that's three to four days, 100 hours at an average outdoor temperature. That's kind of the, the, the metrics that you used out there. But there's some factors that, are, that, that that's based on. So one of it's based on your activity level. Uh, the other one's your climb in place, meaning where are you? So if you're in the high desert or are you in the mountains or are you in a very cool area, these all affect our, our body's ability to get rid of moisture, which is what the hydration cycle is. We're going to put it in and then it's going to be expelled. And that's going to be either through urination, through sweating, and actually through breathing as well. So the other, the other factor is your weight. Body weight plays into it. So let's just look at a couple of, of interesting um, numbers in terms of that. So if you're about 100 pounds, you're going to need about 67 ounces of water daily. If you're around 150 pounds, you're going to need around 100 ounces. Um, we, we bump it up to 200 pound range. You're looking at about 134, 135 ounces of water a day. And then when you get up to the 250, you're about 170 ounces. I'm 225. And so I need around 150 to 160 ounces of water a day. So that kind of, that's two and a half gallons. So that's going to kind of dictate how I carry it. And then, and, and again, We'll set up the camera and, and show you. We've got a, a, a series of, of different carrying options here for water, but I just wanted to kind of go through some facts before we, we get to that part. Um, some interesting things about the why, you know, the water is super, super necessary for our body to function and function properly. Um, we're going to do a deeper dive on that in the second video. Um, you know, always you hear people say, well, your body's 75% water. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Actually, it's not. It's 60% water overall body. Um, and there's, there's, there's definitely some other areas of the body that have a higher water content. So starting at number one, we're looking at the lungs. The lungs are 83% water, believe it or not. Number two is going to be the kidneys. Kidneys come in at 79%. Tied for three at 73% is the brain as well as the heart. And Number four, skin at 64%. And then last but not least is bones at 31%. But then that all equates to our overall body of being about 60% water. So still a significant, significant number, which is why hydration is so important. Um, some other interesting facts is that, uh, you know, without water, you know, what, what starts to happen is the body just starts to shut down. It starts to really go into this, uh, survival mode. And again, it, it's, it's a perilous, perilous condition when you, when you reach a level of hyperthermia that's, that's super extreme. So that's hyperthermia, not hypothermia. So hypothermia is body temperature going way down. Hyperthermia, our body temperature is just going way through the roof. We want to keep it at, um, in terms of the body temperature, um, we want to keep it at 98.6. So 95 is too low, uh, 104 too high. So we want to stay right in there. 
Um, and again, water helps us do that. Water is going to, it's your, it, it shuttles oxygen throughout our body. Again, we're going to do a deeper dive when we do the why on the second video. So I want to get into some facts now uh, in terms of some numbers, but I want to do it with the how. So what we're going to do is set up the camera here, show you a little bit different angle so you can see what we've got set up here. And I'm going to be right back with you.